Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl, Sucker One here, back with my Dragon Ball Z 10K2 Tag Team Let's Play. Last time we started many people's favorite saga and met a young man by the name of Trunks, who is actually from the future and came to warn us that in three years' time a new enemy would appear the androids. And also, uh, he gave Goku heart medicine because otherwise he would die of a heart disease in the near future. Yeah, I think this game skipped over that little detail, but yeah. In the timeline where Trunks is from, all the Z-Warriors died to the upcoming androids. Goku died of a heart virus. So yeah, Trunks brought the medicine so he would. Anyway, time to train in preparation. The Warriors assemble. Oh wait, not train. This is where they're going to appear. Duh. This should be good. This saga is really... It has a lot of cool dramatic moments, I'll give you that. On the day when Goku finally returned home after nearly dying in the deconstruction of planet Namek... Oh, we don't have to recap all this. The son of Vegeta and Bulma used a yeah. time machine to go 20 years into the past. I think in the last part, Trunks didn't mention who... Uh... His, uh... One of his parents were, I forget which one. So, but yeah, Trunks is the son of Bulma and Vegeta. <laughs> Crazy as that sounds. <laughs> to warn everyone of the impending threat towards the Earth. Yep. And save Goku by giving him medicine for the heart virus. Anyway, the time has come. Warriors assemble. Let's stop these nasty then, androids. Three years later. Just as Trunks had said, the androids appeared nine kilometers southwest of South City. Yep. Let's do this thing. Brought there they are. The former scientist of the Red Ribbon Army, Dr. Giro. The horrifying androids with otherworldly powers invaded the tranquility of Earth. And it's our job to stop them. So, we're going to. All right. Ready? Everyone spread out and find them, but don't get too close. Right. As soon as you spot one, let everyone know. Got it, Goku. Let's go, Let's go Z Warriors. Oh yeah, I get to pick. Um. Oh, do I just get to pick who Goku's partner is? Hmm. All right. Let's stick with Gohan, father and son team. All right. Let's do this thing. Let's hunt them down. Yeah, by the way guys, I'm sorry I haven't really been showing the little side missions you can do. But, they just give you capsules that... I forget exactly what they do. I think... If I remember right, they just, like, boost some stats, I think. I think that's the way it is in most, uh, Dragon Ball games. Anyway, found you, Goku. I'm trying to remember how he sounded. Hmm. Why do you know my name? How do you know about us? Fine, I'll tell you. Goku, I have been watching you constantly using microscopic bug-like robots. Nanobots, of course. Ever since you destroyed our Red Ribbon Army, I have continued my research. Fun fact! Dr. Gero, it's not Jiro. Jiro in the dub, but... In the original Japanese, it's pronounced Gero. He was not in the Red Ribbon Army arc at all. So, uh-oh, Toriyama, continuity error, but hey, it works. Whatever. You could assume, I guess, he was just in the shadows, but we had, um, Android 8 in that arc, and there was never a mention of Gero at all. So, just a little fun fact. Man, I've learned so much from watching people like Geekton 101. <laughs> It's cool to learn, so, anyway. Yes, and they're spoiling it! You're not supposed to know that that's ghetto yet. That's kind of a bummer. They're not supposed to be spoiling that yet. He's supposed to just be Android 19, I think. Or no. Gero was Android 20, I think. I know it's 19 and 20, but I forget which was which. <laughs> what I could do to defeat Goku. What kind of androids could beat you? I see. But did he spy on our battle or battles on Planet Namek? There was no need. Through your fight with Vegeta, 
We were able to fully comprehend your power and techniques. Ah, ah, ah! Wrong! Well then, you forgot to study the most important thing. Your loss. <laughs> uh-huh. Super Saiyajin. You don't know about that, do ya? Fool. If you're gonna study somebody, study them thoroughly. Very foolish, Dr. Gitto. I hope that's how you pronounce that in Japanese. <laughs> I imagine it is. I'm no expert at all. I can't even really... I can't even really speak Japanese at all. I know a couple words. Where are you, Gohan? Oh, that was... I did not... I should have known that's for a square, my bad. Anyway, I guess Gohan's fighting a... Okay, there you go. He is Android 20. Gero is 20. Why? Yeah, why was in that? I'm a little rusty. It's been a tiny bit since I played this. Anyway. Charge the key. I'm sure people are mad at me that I continually use my key to my, uh... Ow. Okay, what did I... I pressed something wrong. Clearly. Hold on, I'll get him. Ready? Yes! Nice hit. There we go, that's more like it. As I was saying, though, before... Yeah, I'm not... I don't know much Japanese, I know a couple words. And you wanna know why that is? Sailor Moon. After I heard about all the changes the old... Not the new dub, but the old dub had. Once I learned about that, I watched Sailor Moon in Japanese. And I don't regret it at all. I learned a lot. Whoa, go on, nice! Wow, kid. Well done. That was pretty impressive, Gohan. Seriously. You do your father proud. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. If you have not seen Sailor Moon in Japanese, you really need to. Why? Because the dub changed so much. Same thing happened with the uh, original dub of Z from the 90s. Whoop. That's why Kai is a lot better. Same story, yes, but in English the translations are massively better. So, and of course the voice acting gets everybody, by the time uh, Kai was a thing, had a lot more voice acting experience, so it turned out a lot better. Of course I always enjoyed Sean Chamilla's Goku, but of course he was not the first. So, hey! Oh, did I? Good, I did dodge it, I think. Ready? Oh, nice. Gohan got him. Good job. I was gonna, but nice work. Gohan's really stepping it up, huh? Nice job, kiddo. Alright. Mission cleared. Stand against the androids. <laughs> Look, he's getting pummeled, but acting like it's nothing at all. He's an android. I'll bet they don't feel pain or fatigue. <laughs> this is no joke. Hey, Goku's looking strange. Did they already take that much of his power? Yeah, I think they glossed over it, but in their hands they have... Uh, devices that do suck your energy, so... Yeah. Th th that's it! My dad is sick! His heart! Yeah, now you mentioned the heart virus. His heart. The heart disease that kid from the future talked about? Mm-hmm. It, it hurts. What's going on with my body? Yeah! This is bad. Poor Goku. It would suck. I'm the one who's supposed to defeat Kakarot. 
I won't let some mechanical doll do it for me. <laughs> of course you can not. Tell from watching you. You're not nearly as tough as everyone thinks. Hey, wait a minute. In that picture, isn't that Vegeta from the Boo Saga? Wrong. Oh, that voice. Okay, that isn't the best voice. Although I think it's the same one from the original dub. But I don't remember. It has been years since I watched the original dub of Z. I mainly watch Kai now, especially now on Tsunami because they're showing the Boo Saga. And I hadn't seen that since I was a kid, so. We're Saiyans. You need more than numbers to understand our power. Yeah. By the way, loving Kai the final chapter so far. It's been really good. Tell me, I'd like to know. Do androids experience fear? Oh, this will be good. <laughs> Say hello to Super Vegeta. <laughs> oh yes, I'm sure everybody remembers this. Vegeta just mopping the floor with this clown. Hey. Whoa! Yep. Not quite. Uh huh. Nice. To the most rigorous training imaginable. Yes, in space. Discovered a limit where I couldn't get any stronger. My actions peaked when it happened. That's the trick. Come here, you little clown! What's the matter? Too afraid to face me? You won't get close, huh? Oh, please. You're a mistake, fool! Gotcha! You shouldn't have gotten that close. But turning into a super save increases your killer instinct. Yeah. You feel pain, right? How lucky for you. Vegeta. So smug. <laughs> What's the matter? Are your little mechanical calculations not working right? Quite the well -made I miss. Is that blood or oil? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. You're really asking for it, you little mechanical clown. What the? Since when does the Cell Jr. appear now? What in the heck? Since when? Okay, game, that is so not the way things go. Ah, missed again. But seriously, no. Cell Juniors are not in this part of the story at all. What the heck is that doing here? It's not just me that's shocked by that, right? Oh no! I tried to stop and move. He got me. Hurry up! Yes! That one didn't miss. But seriously! A Cell Jr. You've got to be kidding. Since when? I never had that happen in this game. Not to, that I recall ever. Oh, right in the face! It's like a whole different world. What in the heck are you doing here? Continuity error. I call nonsense. <laughs> Get it. There we go. Okay, despite that shocking appearance from a Cell Jr. of all things, that didn't go that badly. Eh, I gotta be. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. But, really now? I call nonsense, seriously. I never had that happen. Easy peasy. Apparently, we have miscalculated. But, at any rate, you fools cannot win. <laughs> it doesn't look that way. What do you mean? <laughs> no matter how much 
unexpected power you may have. This is not enough to defeat us androids. <clears throat> like I thought, you're just a poor loser. <laughs> Coward, he's escaped. He's headed for the mountains. And we're gonna catch him. Yoo-hoo! Get off! You're not getting far away. You will not escape. Seriously, I hope... Nah, avoid the unnecessary battles. I really hope... that I'm saying that, right? Alright. Let me fight a Vegeta. Piccolo. Go ahead. It's your funeral. Just don't give him any of your energy. That's gonna be tough. A Cell Jr. again? I mean, seriously, they're not supposed to appear in this part yet. They don't appear till the very end of this whole saga. Thank you. It's not just me who think that's kind of dumb, right? He works hard enough. No worries. Gotcha! And they have one Senju, so... I gotta beat him twice! Not that bad. Oh, that was... Ah, oh, that it landed! That would've been a nice combo! You little... Go! Did you know that in battle, we could charge up and then violently release the stuff you call energy? Well, come on! Alright. Whoa! Give it up. Nice. Sorry, I just, uh, stood there for a sec. My battery was getting low on the laptop, had to plug it in. Better not mess up anything, because it has a nasty habit of doing that. You aren't putting up much of a fight, are you? Nice! Piccolo, you are awesome. Nice teamwork, gentlemen. Come here, you mechanical fool. Alright. Don't. Keep him busy, Piccolo. <laughs> Hard work. Apparently, we should have been destroyed by these guys. Hold on. But it seems the future has changed. So you're not as strong as you thought, and maybe we're just that much stronger than you. Yeah, we knew, so we worked our butts off to get stronger. Ah, I didn't mean to miss. Obviously. Piccolo, keep him busy. I'm getting him from behind. Oh, come on! Nice work. Very well. Let's team up, Piccolo. Let's get them together. Nice! Very good. Very nice. Piccolo, well done, dude. That's why Piccolo's good. <laughs> That's how it's done. Well done, boys. All right, Piccolo, hurry and finish him off, or do you need, do you need me to do it for you? Heh, <laughs> no thanks. Oh yeah, fun fact, same voice actor for both Piccolo and Vegeta, so they're, he's talking to himself, kind of, <laughs> Chris Sabat. He's so good, legend. I am originally the evil half of Kami. I'm not as forgiving as Goku. Eh, that's true. Drunks. Who, who is that? Who are you fighting? What? What do you mean, who? He's one of your androids. W what's the meaning of this? You mean he's not? Then who is he? What is he? Now! When I told you you could never win, it was the truth. 
Yeah, here's the twist. Androids 17 and 18 are coming soon, and they will kill you. Yep, I know. 17, 18. Mm hmm. He's gone. Blast, he's escaped. Curse it. I won't let him get away. <laughs> yeah, that's the twist. You want to know why? Apparently, from what I have learned and heard, Toriyama's editor did not like the look of Android 19 to 20, so he said, uh, they look too stupid. Change them. So, that's where the next ones come in. You'll meet them next time. Well, there we go. Another chapter down. Next time, we will be meeting Android 17 and 18. Will they be ultra powerful and destroy us? Or not be as tough as they sound? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you guys next time.